This week on Buck Commander. Here's the deal. Wherever I set up a stand in Louisiana, that's where everybody wants to be because they know I'm smart. And so Langy's going to try to slip in on my spot. There's two really good bucks in here. One really, really nice nine point that's been showing up in here. I might have, I might have shot the biggest deer ever to step foot on this ranch. Anytime one of the buckmen tells you to come out and take a look at something, I've learned to be a little apprehensive. <laughs> Willie pulls the same move every year. He shows up two or three days early, goes after the biggest buck. Always get one down so he can say he takes the pressure off or, you know, trying to get the party started. And then leaves us with the scraps. All right, Louisiana group hunt. Uh, I slid out here right before the guys got here and uh, I'm hoping to lay something down, uh, getting everybody in camp, it's gonna be fun right here in the great state of Louisiana. Saw a lot of bucks, got some bucks on camera, some good eight pointers, so. You know, I always slip down a little early, see if I can kick it off, kick this week off good. To sum it up, there's no I in team, but there's two in Willie. Sneaking into Allah, it's like 30 minutes away. It's not, it'd be like sneaking into my bathroom to use it. You're starting the buck commander on unofficially. E3 hunts fixing to start in a few days, and as usual, I got in just a little early, make sure everything's right for the guys. And I arrived first, so I'm the first uh, buck man here. Just snuck in before the rest of the guys get here. I have a completely torn hamstring. <clears throat> Don't look quasi scouting. Um, it is cold in Texas. It's about 70 degrees. Yeah, somewhere in shorts. Started. It's my kind of party. Buck Commander, group hunt has officially begun, although the group at this point is just me. Would I say Willie's a team player? Absolutely not. We slid down a little early. We slid down a little early. We slid down a little early. See if I can kick it off. Jordan, this thing's making me get turned alive. He's definitely not going into Isla to scout for us or to like try to make sure the rest of us have a great hunt when we get there. He is all about finding the biggest deer on the property so that he's got bragging rights for the week. And that is number one on Willie's list when he gets to Isla. Buck bondas, buck bondas. Isla always works out great for Willie because he just gets to ease down there, check some cameras, picks his deer out. It must be nice to be uh, the supreme leader and uh, just pick group hunts, you know, 30, 40 minutes south of your house. What do you want me to do? Just not get one? What kind of hunter would I be if I went down there and didn't harvest meat for my family to eat? I'm talking about survival, son. Willie just kind of plays by his own rules, and um, he's, he's got it coming. Yeah, I mean, I go into places, and, and sometimes they say, yeah, Willie can shoot whatever you want to shoot, which is great, because I build a relationship. We have a good friendship. We talk. I'm willing to help them with whatever it is. Basically, I'm being very unselfish, and I think they sense that and see that, and so they share with me. Well, we got him. Um, decent eight-pointer. Unfortunately, the coyotes got most of him, um, but we did come find him uh, with the help of us and a good tracking dog. So um, we were on the board. It ain't pretty, 
but we're on the board. It's about time we teach Willie a lesson. Obviously, Buck Commander, we do a good job at, um, at pranking each other from time to time. These kids, man. There's always been pranks at Buck Commander. Louisiana is no exception. Luke, he's the easiest. I mean, he's just... Easiest what to get? Yeah. Easiest to prank? Yeah. Hands down. I didn't make it this year because I'm always so scared that somebody's going to play an evil trick on me like, I don't know, put a rat. <laughs> in my hunting bag and I don't know, maybe I get bit. Matt, look at there. Get some kind of rat disease. <laughs> I'm finna have stage three rabies. How's it going? How are you? Conservation agent. You got any type of ID with you? I, 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 sir, I'm so sorry I left my dig on wallet. I, and I've, I've got ID on my cell phone. There's my ID. You go by Tom or Thomas or Luke. Luke. Did you put it in the right backpack? So where's he at? Did it? So did he write you he's a ticket? Caught, well, he's where's got my bow. He's trying to get his supervisor on the phone to see if I've got my license, so he can write me a ticket, so he doesn't have to bond me. Where's oh home? my gosh. But he, he didn't have to be. What are you doing? Are y'all joking with me? Joking. Congrats. Oh. Legal bro, man. Well done. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm a little bit out of elk shape. Got got a little prank set up for Roach and Langy, and uh, it, it, nothing's gonna get destroyed at first, but this could be one of our more clever ideas. Day one, I'll uh, mic check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Welcome to Holla. Now let the games begin in a pretty sweet looking spot. Thick and nasty. Out until about 40 yards. Then we got a big clear here. It's gonna be a fun week.
it's hard to believe at a place like this. They saw that deer on camera and he finally went daylight. I think last night. Not bad for an hour of work. That's a pretty good start. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. I'm telling you, it has been last day or bust. Well, let's pile them up, Langy. Hey. Good week ahead of us. You, uh, you broke the ice, that's for sure. I'm never the first one either. Tombo might have too. Like I mean, Tombo's been, he must be covered up or had no service over there because. He's gone silent, hasn't he? That ain't like him. I haven't heard a thing. I'm, I'm thinking he must have stacked something up tonight. I bet Miss Joyce has some good food ready for us. Mm -hmm. Let's get on it. Uh, does that sound? You want to see if we can find a route? Oh, I think we're good. You good? Yep. All right, showtime. I think we're ready to go. Uh, hopefully the guys are in the saloon so we can chatter, you know, what'd you kill, what'd you see? And then I'm just gonna let them know that I probably killed the biggest deer that's ever been killed off this ranch. They gotta come see it. We got a little bit of a surprise waiting for them on the tailgate. So I get back to camp and I find out that Tombo shot a monster too. Let's compare them. See yours first. I might, have, I might have shot the biggest deer ever to step foot on this ranch. I thought you already did that biggest like a couple buck. years ago. No, that was the second biggest deer. Anytime one of the buckmen tells you to come out and take a look at something, I've learned to be a little apprehensive at all times. So I figured something out of the ordinary was going to be in the back of that truck. Dang it! Oh! Dang it, this, this, this shouldn't even be in the same ballpark as your deer. Yeah, but you it's the biggest. Uh, I mean, that's you, the you, 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 man. <laughs> you, 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 man. Yeah. Check this out, man. Wait for it. Wait for it. around I was looking to forage on some you know acorns and whatever else is down here in the south and uh, I come around the corner and I look up and there's my man Tombo he's not hunting he was just messing around out there so we were hanging out for a while and then we thought we'd come in and see how you guys were doing I couldn't shoot I, good? I couldn't shoot him man yeah. it is great yeah. now yeah. Yeah. oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Well, a naked human being in the bed of the truck was the last thing I was expecting. <laughs> stretch out the hammies, stretch out the hammies. <laughs> that was a lot of skin and not very much loincloth. He looked like a shaved grizzly bear. I did not want to see the backside of that. Shooting a buck out of Willie's stand, that was just a warm up. Langy and I are fixing to reveal the master plan. Back at the pranks, man. You would think at 36, however old all these boys are, that we would grow up. Not yet. Well, it didn't take Rochi and I very long to put a plan together. There was a ground blind set up perfectly where we could intercept these bucks about 100 yards before Willie would ever even know they were there. Now, as far as pranks go, we, we've kind of drawn the line on severe physical injury. Um, anything outside of that is pretty much fair game. All right, last day of the group hunt. Um, got some guys hunting on good spots tonight, so. Uh... 
need at least one more. Need at least one more, maybe two be great. So uh, much luck to the fellas, and we'll get together next time. We're set up now. It's just a waiting game. Probably not gonna see a lot of deer, but the deer we see, we're hoping are the right ones. When we were sitting in this other stand the last couple nights, that Willie absolutely thieved from us. We saw some bugs here that would come out of this young pine thicket right here. And we think that the big nine point that everybody seems to really like is in there with that group. And so we're gonna try to cut him off before he gets to Willie tonight. <laughs> That's what you get, Willie. Well, the beauty of it is, Langy makes a great shot, and he's running right towards Willie. He had to hear that buck thrashing around in the brush. It's hard to tell blood when you've had ants on it for an hour. Cheech and Tom just pulled up. <laughs> Did you do it? Killed a big tall eight. <laughs> no way. <laughs> How? Out of the truck? No, we put a, we, we found a ground blind in there. We put the ground blind up right next to the building. Willie see you on all I don't think so because he came down and got his truck and went back and pulled back down there to pick Benny up and get his equipment. And... That's why, that's the crash we heard. Oh, there he is. Ruby. Little covert mission that... Who thought of this? I don't know, it was you or Jamie. Who do we blame for this? Jamie and I actually did have a game plan, but one Willie Boss Hog decided that he liked this buck that we were in there after, so he was gonna go sit where we'd been sitting. So Jamie came up with a little game plan uh, to try to intercept these bucks before they got down to him. Rochi was kind enough to volunteer to come film it. This is sweet ground blind. <laughs> oh, did you hunt? You hunt the trap? No, it's a little south of the trap. Straight south. It's like it's 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 immediately north of the the middle building. That's where you're hunting, that? So yeah, we're hunting right beside us. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, cut, we cut them off at the pass. <laughs> I wouldn't say right beside you, but <laughs> relatively close. bow range, close. I think Boss is going to think twice before he tries to get a head start on us next time. So Langy goes in there and shoots a deer out from under me. So I get it. You know, I may or may not have done that a couple of times in my career. So, uh... Langy just needs to understand, you know, he's usually the choir boy and he stays out of trouble, keeps his nose clean, he's very friendly. But now he's sinned and that sin will demand retaliation, all right? Because I'm a just partner and I have to serve out justice.